is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And today, the Asians have been back to the Supreme Court, y'all. <laughs> And the Supreme Court refused to hear their lawsuit. So let's just talk about it. This is Thomas Jefferson High School, an elite, rich people's school in Fairfax County, Virginia. This school specializes in STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Asians think that they're supposed to take up all of the slots in these schools. Well, let's put it this way. Any, any slots that black or Hispanic children have, Asians think they're supposed to have those slots. At least that's how they're operating. So the people at this school a few years ago decided they weren't going to look at test scores anymore. And the Asians got mad and the administration told them they were overrepresented. This is the same thing they told them at Harvard. That's what Harvard and these other Ivy League schools have been saying. The Asians are overrepresented. Now, what does that mean? It means it's already too many of you in here. This is the graduation class for 2023. There were 1,285 Asians, 78 Blacks, 118 Hispanics, 378 Whites, and 93 other unspecified race. Now the Asians are overwhelmingly the majority in the school, but they wanted those 196 positions that were taken up by those black and Hispanic students. They wanted all of them. They're complaining because in 2021, there were 1,299 Asians, only 32 blacks, 55 Hispanics, 331 whites, and 88 other. Everybody's number went up in 2023, except the Asians. Theirs went down, and for the reason that I have stated. They said that the Asians are overrepresented in that school. So here they go to the Supreme Court. Trot, 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 they go to stop the discrimination against Asians. Well, this time, the Supreme Court had a different answer. Supreme Court rejects case alleging discrimination against Asian American students in Virginia. On Tuesday, the U.S. Supreme Court declined to hear a case alleging discrimination against Asian American students in admissions at the elite Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Virginia. So the Supreme Court wouldn't even hear the case. What the Fourth Circuit majority held, in essence, is that intentional racial discrimination is constitutional so long as it is not too severe. Well, that's the first time I've heard that. This reasoning is indefensible and it cries out for correction, Alito argued. The percentage of white, Hispanic, and black students increased, while the percentage and number of Asian students sharply dropped. In prior years, the offer rate for Asian American students had hovered between 65 and 75 percent of the school's total offers. Under the new policy, Asian Americans received 54 percent of the offers. In fact, even though the entering class expanded by 64 seats, the number of seats offered to Asian Americans decreased by 56. So that's the long and the short of it. The Asians want all of the seats. They want to be 75% or 85% of the school population just based on test scores. America did this to herself by pumping them up with all of this, all of these ideas about test scores, and all they're doing is memorizing a lot of facts. I'm not saying that they're not intelligent, but they're not the only students in this country that are smart and intelligent and that can do the work at that school. 
Critics argued the policy aimed to reduce Asian American representation while supporters claimed it addressed socioeconomic obstacles. The refusal to hear the case suggests the Supreme Court is not immediately expanding on its previous decision against race-based affirmative action in college admissions. What I resent about these cases is the assumption that black students can't do the work. The black students can do the work and this school has offers. It's a private school and they select from the students they want to select from. And in the past, they had just been going by test scores, but they decided they didn't want to do that because they ended up with a school full of Asians and you just basically got the same thing. So the Supreme Court put its foot down this time. This is a high school. This high school selects the students that they want to come. And as I said before, the Asians have been applying in huge numbers because they want to get in these schools more than anybody else. But they're basing everything on test scores. And now the system sees what a mistake it was to base everything on test scores. This was done not to discriminate against Asians, but to discriminate against black students. These test scores were put in place to discriminate against black students. Students then used to have to take into account of admissions exam before they went to college or high school. And this was a high school. They didn't have to take into account of entrance exam. They did that to discriminate against black students and now it's coming back to bite them in the behind because the Asians are taking a law that they passed to keep black students out of those white Ivy League schools and the Asians have taken that law and is basically using it against everybody. Just looking at test scores doesn't work and it has never been a good idea because you're not allowing for students who are gifted, naturally gifted, in areas that don't have anything to do with test scores. Asians are great test takers, but we don't have any examples of Asian ex excellence in the United States. And people say, well, we have a lot of Asian doctors. Those, those doctors are coming from India and China. They weren't trained in the United States. These Asian doctors trained in the United States don't have any more success than any other doctors that are trained in the United States. My point is that these Asians do well on tests, but they don't, they're not really good at putting it into practice. In the United States of America, I can't even see why anybody would doubt the genius of black Americans when black Americans invented the cell phone, Touch tone telephone, call the waiting, call the ID, the GPS system, and some of these machines like the MRI machine, black people were involved in that technology too. I mean, I cannot, it, it's, it's really astounding to me with all of the accomplishments that black Americans have made in this country that anybody would doubt that black American students could go into a classroom and do the work because you have to apply to that school. If you know you're not going to do the work, you don't even apply to that school. And, and then they'll turn around and say, well, we know we're going to allow for diversity. They're not doing black students any, any favors. Black students who are not even going to those so-called elite schools are making achievements outside of these elite colleges. Just like this young woman that has found a cure for cancer in laboratory animals that she can't get funding for. So black students don't need to go to Harvard or Yale or any elite school because those schools don't make you smart. You have to be smart when you get there. So this is what we have in America. You have to keep proving yourself over and over and over again. And these little upstart Asians are coming here talking about what they deserve based on one mechanism and America is going to have to correct it. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about this. These Asians are going back to court again. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.